Solving a linear equation will, with several occurrences of the variable, fractional forms with binomial numerators. So I have an equation here that says solve for y. So I have y's right now on both sides of my equation, okay? Um, I have a y over here and I have a y over there and I have fraction bars, big fraction bars that involve um, multiple terms in the numerator, right, that are subtracted by a uh, plus or minus symbol. So algebraically, this is one big term right now until I get rid of that big fraction bar and then I can separate these little terms up here in the numerator. So very first I want to get rid of these fraction bars or get rid of these denominators here. So I have a denominator of 2 and I have a denominator of 8. The least common multiple between 2 and 8 is 8. Um, I could use any multiple of 2 and 8. This will work with any multiple, but um, I'm going to use the least common multiple just to keep my numbers smaller. Um, so I need to multiply every term in this equation by 8. Okay. So here's my equals, dividing the right and the left sides. On this side, like I said, algebraically, this is just one big term right now. The big fraction bar is acting as a grouping symbol. It's locking all of these um, expressions, um, the 7y, the, two, the negative 2, and the 2 together as one big term right now. So I have to multiply that term by 8, and I'm going to put it over 1 since I have a fraction just to keep numerators lined up with numerators and denominators lined up with denominators. Okay, on, on the right side, I have two terms. Okay, terms are separated by plus and minus signs. So the 20 is a term by itself, and then this big uh, fraction is a term, right? The, again, the fraction bar is locking all of these elements together as one big term right now until I get rid of the big fraction bar. So I need to do 8 times 20, and multiply this last term by 8 over here and again I'm going to put it over 1 so I keep my numerators lined up with numerators, denominators with denominators um, and now I'm going to go ahead and simplify. So 2 will go into itself once and into 8 four times. 8 times 20 here okay, will give me 160 and over here 8 will cancel with itself with the 8. So if I rewrite this simplified, okay, I'm left with 4, and I have to multiply by this entire numerator. So times 7y minus 2, and on the bottom, in the denominator, I just have 1 times 1, I can leave that off now, equals 8 times 20 is 160, there's the equals. Okay, and then over here, the 8 completely canceled with the 8, so as a numerator, all I'm left with is minus, okay, I have this minus, and I have to subtract this whole 7y minus 7, and on the bottom, I just have 1 times 1, so we can leave that off now. So now that I've gotten rid of the denominators and the big fraction bars, now I'm going to simplify each side separately. So over here on the left, I'm going to distribute, okay, this is a 2 here, not a z. Um, so 4 times 7y is 28y minus 4 times 2 is 8. And then these are not like terms, so I can't combine them, so I'm done simplifying for the moment over on the left side. Now on the right side, I have 160, okay? And remember, there's an implied or a hidden 1 right there. This subtract and then this expression inside the parentheses really means to multiply or distribute a negative 1 over both those terms. So negative 1 times 7y is minus 7y. Negative 1 times negative 7 is positive 7. Now over here, I do have some like terms I can combine. 
the 160 and the 7 are both constant terms that I can combine together. So after combining like terms over here, I'm going to have 167 minus 7y, and this side has 28y minus 8. So I've eliminated the big fraction bar. I've distributed and combined like terms, each side separately, left and right. And so now I'm going to actually start my solving process and try to isolate the y or get the y by itself on one side of the equals. So I have a variable term with a y on the left and a variable term with a y on the right. I need them, I need one of them eliminated or zeroed out. So I'm going to choose to keep my y's on the left, which means I need to get rid of this one. So the opposite of negative 7y is positive 7y using the inverse operation. So those are going to eliminate from the right side. And on the left side, I will now have uh, 35y minus 8 equals 167 on the right. So now I only have a y term on the left. Now I'm going to repeat that process with my constant terms because I have constants on both the left and the right side, so I need to eliminate one of them. So since I'm keeping variables on the left, I'm going to eliminate this constant from the left. The inverse operation is add 8, and then keep my equation balanced by adding 8 on the other side. So after simplifying, I have 35y on the left and 167 plus 8 is 175 on the right. So the last thing I need to do is uh, divide out my coefficient of 35 there. So I'm going to divide both sides by 35 to eliminate the coefficient here, okay? And 175 divided by 35, whoops, get to my home screen, 175 divided by 35 gives me y equals 5 as my solution.